Isn't it? You gotta layer up. I got another jacket on underneath this and a vest and two t-shirts. Yeah, I should have worn two pair of underwear. Definitely. My legs are cold. I'm kind of sweaty. Hey, both of you idiots shut up, okay? I can't see nothing with y'all yapping down there. Our talking is affecting you seeing. All right, Jay, hey, that's something coming to the right. Come on. Good bunch of them. Get ready. They heard you in the turn. Get ready. Cut him! Good night, bro. Ooh, got away from me. The Robertson clan back together. The Robertsons are in Scotland, home of our Robertson heritage. It's a little breezy. I'm on the verge of landing a huge UK distributor. While we had a little free time, I thought we'd get in a stag hunt. Goosh. Goosh. Woo! Unfortunately, we haven't seen a stag all day, so trying to make the best of it. Well, if it was duck season, I'd be three for three. Nope, you missed all three times. How do you know I missed? I didn't even really I shoot. was looking at the end of your barrel. Si, that's the dumbest thing ever. No, I, I know what the dumbest thing ever is. What? You're the one that scheduled a trip to Scotland two weeks before duck season began. We're supposed to be stag hunting. Yeah, well, we're not stag hunters. This is the only season open. We're duck hunters. I'm actually excited to be in Scotland. It is the birthplace of not only the Robertson clan and golf, but of duck hunting. Why not come during duck season? That's nothing to do with duck season. It's a business meeting. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Unfortunately, it's also the home of the kill. These things are awesome for stretching. Look, you've got total movement. Jace? Yeah? Why is it when a redneck like Will, when he leaves the continent, he ends up in a skirt? Hawaii was an accident. This is on purpose. You look like a... Catholic schoolgirl. Hit me one more time, baby. With hairy legs. I'm a true Scotsman. You're making me uncomfortable. If you put your knee down slightly, I feel like I'm one wind gust away from uh... Willie Wallace. I just threw up. Hmm. You ever heard of Braveheart? Have you ever? Freedom! Freedom! One thing's for sure, you won't see a stag now. I wonder if he went by Willie. Tell me the truth. Do you actually have something on under there? You gotta leave some things to the imagination, bro. Imagining that is a nightmare. Yep. How does it mean you always end up at the kids' table? This is the cool table. Uh. Champ. What is this mush here? Looks like burnt sausage. It's like a fresh cow turd. Yeah. That's... Just go ahead and take a big bite of it. No, I don't think so. Good morning. Would you like some tea? I would. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. What is this here? Black pudding. Yeah. The Irish call it blood pudding. Mmm. Blood pudding? Yes, and it's made with oatmeal, spices, and blood. Mmm. It's lovely. Thank you. That's how you love your blood in the mornings. No. Top of the morning, Ted. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Well, good grief, son. What happened to your voice? I guess I picked up a wee bit of an accent. Oh, no. And a bad one at that. <laughs> no. A little Scottish. I like it, Well, It's kind of a clash of countries. Who are you, the beardless Ansel Adams? <laughs> Ansel Adams did landscapes, Will. Let me go to landscape. Oh, yeah, that's much better. <laughs> uh -huh, that's real wow. funny. Smile time. All right, so uh, I've got the Edinburgh Castle lined up. 
That'll be Phil, fun. you excited? Nope. All right, I'll take that as a yes. Edinburgh Castle tomorrow. I don't like having plans made for me. We've gone through this. I'm not making plans for you. I know in the past, my itineraries were met with some displeasure. Let's go over the itinerary of what we're going to do. You got a Itinerary? Plan? Yep. This is like a second grader's homework. But I have the perfect remedy for this trip. After Hawaii, no more plans for you. Awesome. That's the best news I've heard. I got my plans. What you got? You got nothing. Just gonna walk out in the streets and do nothing. Good luck with that. What are you doing tomorrow? We have plans. <laughs> I'm going to the Highland Games. Highland Games. Yep. What are you guys doing? Me and Jess are going on a romantic motorcycle ride to the locks. Aw. Hey, if you're going for the Loch Ness Monster, I'm in. You're not in. I'm in. Nope. Has the uh, motorcycle got a sidecar? No. I'm in. I didn't come all the way to Scotland, oh, OK, just to go to see a castle or see something, you know, old. I want to prove that there is such thing as the Loch Ness Monster. I really came here for one reason, to actually set a hook in the Loch Ness Monster. Me and Nessie battling, having a battle of wheels, OK? I'm in. We're not going to that lot. What are you talking about? Sure you are. No. You're like old times with Kay and Phil. Yeah. How was that, Dad? It was a turbulent world. Let him come. It's not a big deal. You go with him, Sal. That's good. But that's tomorrow. Today, we got tea times in about an hour. So I included you on that. Good job on that. There you well, go. that's common sense. Today is the big day. I'm meeting with a potential UK distributor and I'm bringing my business associates along. There's a difference in planning and common sense. I'm in on the golf. I'm out on whatever else you plan. I would have brought someone else, but these are actually the only business associates I have. Do not embarrass me out there. Look in the mirror as you're going out. Plus, I never would have heard the end of it if I hadn't agreed to take these guys golfing. Just don't screw this up, all right? Your skirt's wrinkled. Smile time. Tea time's an hour. All right, all right, good. All right good. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. All right. Let me grab this right here. I'm gonna take this for the Loch Ness Monster. Loch Ness Monster, here we come, boys. So this is it, huh? The birthplace of golf, St. Andrews. Can I hit it, babe? This isn't St. Andrews, this is Crail. Oh. You don't want to go to St. Andrews, Billy. It's full of tourists. Yeah, we don't want tourists. Yeah. Corey, keep your head down. Oh, hit the sand. It's just, it just hits the thing. Hit the sand first. She's not very good. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear, it's rolled back in again. Oh. So Anthony, what do you think about getting these duck calls oh. over in Scotland? It only took me like four tries. Count all those strokes. Um, well, like I said, Willie, I love your products, but we like our own local brands over here. Hey, we're kind of local. We're Robertsons yeah. of the Robertson clan. So is that your tartan, then? My Tarzan? Your tartan. Tartan? The pattern on your kilt, man. I didn't really understand a word you just said, but. Well, that was the only one that came in a husky, so. Husky? Did well, it was the biggest, it's the biggest size they had. Four. Hey! Oh, my goodness. Hey, you stupid idiot. Hurry up, you're holding up the game. I'm trying to do a little business. Morons, huh? Yeah, it's just my brother. We have a special bond. No! Look, I love my family, and I love owning and running a family business. Shut up! I just wish the rest of the family realized I'm trying to run a family business. The putting green is up there. It'd be a way more enjoyable. Hey, shut up back there. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny, you lost your hat. They're basically embarrassing me at their own expense. Because last time I checked, they make money from the company, too. It's very simple. Deal or no deal. Colorful family, Willie, huh? Yeah. Tell you what, speaking of family, my friend got me a reprint of a painting. It was from a museum in Scotland. Here is it off. I swear it looks just like me. I mean, that should prove that I'm Scottish. Mm-hmm. There you go. With the exception of my family's continued self-sabotage. You little chubby knucklehead, let's go. This business meeting's actually going pretty well. And I may even have just the thing to get this business deal done. Hey, paintings don't lie. My doppelganger painting. 
We need to find out who this guy is. He's somebody. I know a thing or two about that. When you come over for dinner tomorrow, why don't you bring the painting with you? I brought it all the way from Louisiana. I'll bring it with me. You could have just taken a picture on your phone, babe, but. No, he needs to see the real thing. Have you ever seen a Scottish king that looked like me? Uh, one or two. There you go. The, yeah. There you go. Hey, let's move it. I'm trying to do a little business. Here, come in. Where's Willie? Uh, oh, here he comes. Where's the bus? Willie, did you get me a present? Uh, no, Kay. But I've got something good. You're not going to believe this. Guess what? So, Will, what happened to your kilt? I like the pants. They look good. A little loud, maybe. I mean, blend in is the name of the game. That, hey, <laughs> first thing that happens is get your legs blown off. OK, enough about the clothes. Big news. We are not going to the Edinburgh Castle. Hey. We're going to another castle. You. Well, actually, it's a museum. It's actually the Doma Chain. Doma. Donna Kick. Mu Kick. I think the H is silent. I think there's a D in there. Doma Cheed. Anthony, my business contact, has been pretty clear that he wants to keep business local to Scotland. It is a whole museum about the Robertson clan. What about that? Oh. Can I open my present now? Mom, this is not your present. Although we know the Robertson family is from Scotland, what I have in this box is tangible evidence that not only am I Scottish, that I might even be a descendant of a powerful Scottish nobleman. I've got proof in this box. That he shipped over here for $600. That we came from nobility. And if there's anywhere I can find the proof, it's at this Donna Kick, the Robertson Museum. Y'all want to see a little piece of history? How are you going to open that with a no nail? Wait, it'll be worth it. It is going to be awesome. Wait, you need fingernails. I got fingernails. Let's see if I can do that. You have to like peel that off right there. Quite mm. a wrapping job on this Here, thing. try to try to pick it. Pick the tape. Yeah, pick, pick the, the tape. tape. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 you want us to close your eyes? No, just. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yo. That is one ugly dude. That is you, Willie. It's your face. I think Willie's painting looks just like him. It just speaks of royalty. Who is he? Probably a warrior king, lots of battles. But well, he looks mad. We no. can safely say they didn't paint it for his looks. I picture him surrounded with all kinds of food. He would have fruits and vegetables and, of course, little, little meat pies just all around him. They would all be dainty. This is your king, King Willie Robinson, the first. No need to bow. I knew one of my sons would be a king. Bring me your finest meats and cheeses. And some sheep. Sheep? I like sheep. I like to play with them. I really do. Here we go. There's a bus. Oh, yay. Are y'all ready for museum tour? Good morning, folks. Hi. Good morning. Uh, how are you? How you doing, sir? Very well. How you doing? Ready to roll, huh? Oh, look, your PJs. My what? Your pajamas. These are pants. Oh, right. they're not pajamas. They're pants. Oh, good show. Look at this guy, huh? What about that? Looks like yeah. Robertson clan. The only thing I know about them is they make broad jam. Can't understand it where you said. All right, bro, y'all ready? Right. You watch your elbow a minute in. Is it a castle as well? OK, I'll get that answer later. Oh. 
magician today is Ian McDonald, so that's all to do. I'll hand you over to him to officially open the gate. Welcome to the Scottish Olympics. Jays, the Scottish are in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, the Olympics are the Scottish Olympics. That man's got a point. When I came out on this Scottish countryside and looked at the competition getting ready to start, it kind of felt like deja vu. Like somewhere down the line in my ancestry, there were men who rose up to fight and to try to win freedom. I don't think I wore the right shoes to this. Tell you what I'm wanting to do. Here I am in Scotland, smelling the grass. Oh, yeah, I'm getting fired up, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And hearing the band. <laughs> and I'm feeling the need to win. I'm thinking about entering this. What? Oh, no, 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 no. You should. You should. No, this, this is... is like a real thing. You can't just <laughs> hop over the fence and go try no, it no, out. No, 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 this no, no. This is like they have judges and. I think Jace, it said open invitation. This. What? Jace is excited about competing in the Highland Games, and I think it's an awesome idea, even though it's one of the dumbest ideas. This is going to be good. Have you seen the size of these people here? That one over there looks like the front half of a centaur. They're like two eyed cyclops. Go. Two eyed cyclops. Two eyed cyclops is a man, and a man. it's a normal man. I mean, what are the odds? I decided to pursue photography, and then Jace decides to do something that's obviously going to put him near death. Tossing the caper. What's or a no, caper? caper. I don't know. Well, who knows, matter, but he right? can toss it. It's going to be the perfect day for me. Let's go find a registration tent. Oh, right, good grief. Again. There's a tent right there, I think. Sorry, that's miss. It. You realize you're in trouble, right? I'm getting my competitive juices flowing. Competitive juices. Where is that guy? I don't know. He said to wait right here, babe. <sighs> this vacation stinks. Babe. It'll be me and you, Jess. It'll still be romantic. I was so pumped about a motorcycle. Cruising the highlands like a metal-clad warrior poet. What? I wanted to be Brett Michaels. You be one of the hot chicks from the videos. <laughs> Which girl from the video? Like any of them. I don't know. Real romantic, Jeff. It's not romantic when he's here. Of all the Brett Michaels music videos I ever saw, I never once saw some old, creepy, hemorrhoid-ridden uncle with his tea over there in the corner talking about finding the Loch Ness Monster. At this rate, I'm never going to get to see Nessie. There is no Nessie. She's out there. Trust me. No, that, that never made the cut. I was pumped about the motorcycle, but if I got some kind of awesome, like, Red sports car that's fast. Yeah, that that'll be cool. Good. That's your car, sir? Hmm? My car? Yeah. That's not it. It is? Oh, pitiful. No, it's talking about like a sports car. Oh, it's a sports car. That's it. Two doors. That's not a sports car. Yes, it is. It's nippy, tight. We run corners quite fast. It's nappy? Nippy. Nippy. Nappy. Fast. Nippy. No, I don't think fast when I see that car. Sorry, sir, but this is the only car we've got left. It's quite busy this time of year. That's the only one. Only one. There can be only one. Highlander. You like Highlander? Love the Highlander. That's a good movie. Awesome movie. What are y'all talking about? The movie Highlander, you just quoted it. No, I was talking about the little car there. Does that actually have an engine in it? Yeah. Two mice running on a rubber band. I mean, like a muscle car, like, whoa. Mm, this is more like, mm. Yeah, I'm looking for. Whoa! No, you don't get it. Whoa! Whoa! No, we're talking about room. Simmer down now. We're talking about power. That's got good power. Nah. No. Hey, by the way. Which one of these locks has got the Loch Ness Monster in it, Jack? The Loch Ness is 100 miles for you. No, that one here. There's uh, no Loch Ness Monster here, not Loch Leaven. You don't understand, OK? There's subterranean caves that connect them underneath subterranean. 
Hey, sorry, you take the car. Hmm. Yeah. Right, backing up. Oh, this is beautiful weather. It is. Come on, babe. Don't hurt yourself. First aid ten is waiting, Jace. I think I got this. Put your back in it. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Like my great ancestors before me, I have entered the Highland Games. I got a few things creaking here. The true test of manhood. I notice y'all are a lot younger than me. Yeah. Yeah. With the exception of wearing a kilt, which evidently you have to wear in order to compete, I actually feel pretty good about this. Have you ever seen anybody get injured doing this? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I got you. Mm. Let the games begin. Do they have rain delays here? No. I've always wanted to say that. I'm gonna kind of conserve my energy till the race part. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Okay. We'll, uh, catch you later. All right, I'll see you out there. Okay, Jace is competing. After 24 years of marriage, I should have seen this coming. Whoa! Oh, oh, nice! Oh my goodness. Good luck. <laughs> the only thing that I ask, please don't get injured. Oh. I wonder if they have a golf ball toss. You want to impress me? Don't get hurt. Looking at him and looking at these boys, if he makes it past the net, he should consider this a moral victory. Come on, Jake. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I think I got this. OK. Yee. Yee. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I got to stay behind this? Yes, yeah. Jace. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it's there. Mm -hmm. Good job, babe. The shot put may not be my specialty. I'm built for speed. They didn't even give you a mark. They forgot you were there. And it just so happens the sprint is the next event. Do you want me to give you all some tips on this one? I'm looking at these guys. They have no chance. They're simply too large to move fast. OK, here we go. There is no way I will lose this event. OK, here we go. OK, over here, Mr. Sata. Great ride, turn the gun. Ready, set. Hold on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No! That big fella can move. Tell you this, I am shocked. Hey, that guy had you by 100 pounds. Hey. What are you doing? Never view a very, very large man as slow, because there are exceptions. I didn't finish last. No, you finished about fourth. Good job, babe. These guys have literally defied the laws of physics. They're freaks of nature. It's a telephone pole. He just picked up a telephone pole. Yeah. Hey, yeah. He got it. He about flipped it in the air. He's the whole centaur. Call him that to his face. No. <laughs> Jace, don't call him a centaur. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Jace, do you see that? That could kill you. Watch it. Oh, yeah. See, there ain't yeah, nothing to that. Ah! Oh. This is the dumbest thing you've if ever you done. If you feel a this surge, the, though, go for single, it. The single most dumbest thing you've ever done. You're a Robertson. Mm. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's sizing it up now. Oh, boy. Good job, babe. Look, not everything is about winning and losing. 
Hey, Mark. I mean, I'd like to win. But in this case, a simple toss. Give me last place, and let's move along. All right, go. <laughs> Hey, hold on. Yeah, that's I a bad idea. <laughs> Sometimes you find the joy of surviving. And that's what I've chosen to do in this event. Two, Two three. That's it. The fact that I survived to tell about it, it's something. Missy, just toss the caber. Good job, babe. Thanks, babe. It's pretty, and then I look in the back seat, and it gets really loud. Si, you can't just keep singing 99. There's a lot of Robertson traditions. And one of them is to figure out who gets stuck with Si. The guy that built this car must have been an idiot. He built the front part, got tired, and just left. Don't get me wrong, I love my Uncle Si. But getting stuck with him as a third wheel, that will ruin your day. <sighs> Good grief, my hemis are acting up. Oh, yeah. My better. hamstrings are tight, too. No, I ain't talking about hamstring. I'm talking about my hemorrhoids. Ooh. Okay. You gave your hemorrhoids a nickname? That's a term of endearment. We're in it, together, for better or worse. When are your hemis ever for the better? <sighs> deep breath, son, deep breath. That's okay. a good way to start out a romantic getaway. Yep, nothing wow. says romance like hemorrhoids. Good grief. Well, folks, we're arriving at your destination. This is it? This is it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm honored that there's a museum about our ancestry. This definitely isn't a castle, huh, babe? It looks like a gas station. But I was expecting something kind of cool, like a castle. OK, folks, you want to come in and see your uh, museum? George, are you sure? This is it, big man. This is it. Oh, crap. Or at least a museum that's bigger than a double-wide trailer. I don't even think it's as big as a double-wide trailer. You enjoy it. You'll, you'll only be in a minute. <laughs> Did we get wiped out or something as a family? Hello, the Robertsons are back. You gotta be kidding me. Well, we just drove two and a half hours. Hello. Are you just passing through, or are you part, part of the clan? I think we're part of the clan. Welcome to the land of your ancestors. Do we favor the Robertsons from what you remember? Uh, we had one chief by the name of a Grizzled Robert. The Grizzle Robert? Yes, I wonder if that's where he gets it from. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you that I'm not a museum-type guy. But now that I'm here, I'm getting kind of fired up about it. Our most famous chief is Alexander Robertson. This is my name, Phil Alexander Robertson. They named me after this, right. dude, this dude here. He was a real character. For some reason, that didn't surprise me. I'm learning some things. I'm like, whoa, didn't know that. You're making me feel pretty proud just to be here. You know, it is a little bit exciting to learn about your own bloodline. We were Scottish. Pretty interesting to see where you came from. Overall, did the Robertsons have a good name or a bad name? Um, some of the Robertsons uh, were in a lot of trouble. That sounds familiar. Will, you want to add anything to the conversation? You're hearing about your ancestors, um, some good, some bad. What about these Scottish pants? Um, well, you shouldn't really be in here wearing those. Really? That is not a Robertson tartan. Oh. What would the real Robertsons do if they saw a guy like this with those kind of britches? Uh, they'd probably shoot him. Yeah. So far, all I've learned about my heritage on this trip, what if all my Robertson stuff was dirty? Shoot him is that a few hundred years ago, they would have killed me because of the color of my pants. What else you got? What's the little want to crystal you. ball? Right, uh, this is a piece of rock crystal. Whatever, I'm just here to find out about my painting. King Robert the Bruce was fighting at Bannockburn, and he actually defeated quite a large English army, and uh, they thought that this was, this was magic. Awesome. What about this piece, sir? <laughs> Obviously a Robertson? Never seen it before. That help? And not great deal of help, that. He does look like me. 
Yeah, you're both a bit, uh, bit on the bulky side. <laughs> a bit on the bulky side. You can't side. even see his body, man. This could be... Oh, you can tell, Eli. Oh, you can't, can't you. tell. You cannot you can tell, see that. You can tell. Yeah. I can't believe that after all this, I'm no closer to finding the origin of my painting. Are you sure it wasn't like a king, like King Robertson? Um, I'll take mm. that as a yes. Well, you take it how you like it. <laughs> we pretty much just threw this day right in the toilet, or the lavvy, as the Scottish call it. I guess I did learn something on this trip. The chances of this guy being a member of the clan is... Definitely unlikely. All right. Well, Will, there's a birdie. We're out of here. Unlikely. Y'all ready? Thank you so Charles. much. That was great. Thank, Thank you, you, Charles. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate it. Love your history. Come back again, but don't wear those trousers. Yeah. Oh, Sorry no, about that. We'll get him the right one. Yeah, ones. I'll Good. take him. Bye, Charles. Thank you. My name's Donald. Hey, sir, what's what? your plan? The plan is we're fixing to have a Loch Nessie sighting. What if she eats you? Hey, who wants to live forever? And you just quoted Highlander again. I don't know what the deal is with the Highlander, OK? They were immortal. Every time you cut somebody's head off, you gain their powers. I thought you just said they was immortal. If One they thing, was immortal, hey, the you only cut way your head off, it. hey, it wouldn't even make no difference. The movie sounds logically flawed to me. Just think of that. Think about people going out with a fishing pole trying to catch the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, I am going to get it. Good luck with that. Hey, you got anything in that basket? Yes, we do. Let's eat then. Si, so, we ain't got anything for you in here. What do you mean you ain't got nothing from being there? Whew. It's just two. Party of two. I'm not going to say I put a lot of effort into this, but I put a lot of effort into this. Hand me that meat. No, Jess, don't give yeah. me the meat. Uh, don't. Hand me that crackers. Jess, don't give him the crackers. And the cheese. Don't give him the cheese. cheese. Oh, Jess. no, you got to eat the cheese. Don't give him the cheese. This is my dream picnic. I paid 300 pounds for that basket. Do you know how much that is in American? I have no idea. <sighs> si, quit dropping the food. Yeah, come back here. Si has just Freddy Kruegered my dream all up. <sighs> Jess, this vacation stinks. Jeff, we're in Scotland, and it's a beautiful day. I mean, just look at that view. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Jess, my view is of an idiot down there trying to catch the Loch Ness Monster. Oh. Jeff, he's wearing camo. He blends right in. No, he don't. Just ignore it. Jess, look at him. Oh. It's so romantic. Whoa. I was hoping to get some pat pat while we were out here. Now I'm not even going to get a single pat. We're not doing so good, Des. It's like the turtle and the rabbit. I'm finding my way. I think he's doing great. Thank you, babe. I do, too, because he's injury-free, so. Hey, guys. Listen, we're, we're a shot at a tug-of-war team for the competition. Tug-of-war? Yeah, you pull the rope. Oh, yeah, I got it. Tug-of-war? This is something I can win. How many we need? Three men. Take the two heavies, Jess. Just because of the two guys that I have with me. You don't yeah, mind like... losing, do you? No problem at all. Oh, <laughs> you tell them we're coming. I mean, when's the last time you tried to pull seven, 800 pounds anywhere? We can't lose. He's going to do for Step, 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 step. I have to admit. This is not the little light and funzy tug of war games that we played at summer camp. Yes! But that doesn't matter. When William Wallace faced certain death. We're in trouble. <laughs> we're, we're in trouble. Did he beg for mercy? Heck no. They're going to drag us through here like a bunch of yard dogs. He gave an inspirational speech. They may take our lives, but they'll never take no. our freedom. It's time to get serious now. I'm here to inspire my team to victory. We're going to need some fans. Y'all going to cheer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, babe. Oh, it's on.
on the rope, take the string, and pull. On the rope! Oh, no. On the rope. This is serious. Seconds, oh, no. I thought we had a chance. <laughs> I was never that optimistic. I might have lost out on the Highland Games trophy. But well done to the American visitors. A grand show they put up there. Martin, don't you hurl. But this whole experience brought me closer to my homeland. Good job, babe. Oh. Literally. Are you happy, babe? You participated. I'm not happy that I lost. I'm happy we survived. We may have lost, but we lost together. Okay. That's it. I'm getting these shoes off. I can't do it anymore. Take them off. Okay, it's all muddy. All Tell right, me. tell you what. I'm going to carry you. What? I can Whoa. carry you. Oh, oh, boy. I might have lost the battles today. Oh, oh my goodness. Come on. Yeah, there goes. Okay. There. Here we go. A little okay. wobbly. Here we go. A wobbly. But you see who's carrying out the prize. Let's go. <laughs> now that's my this man right there. Liberation and freedom. <laughs> I think it's clear who the real winner is here. Me. Oh, you OK, don't... maybe I have a little sore. <laughs> <laughs> let me know. Let me know. All right. Whoa, there we go. All right, boy. This is so romantic. It is, babe. You're so right, babe. Mm. What is that creep doing? Hey, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Why are you staring at us? I ain't staring at y'all. Yeah, you are, you peeping Tom. Hey, I ain't no peeping Tom. I'm looking for Nessie. Nessie's not on land. Hey, she hunts on land when the Pickings are slim out there in the water. Uh-oh, I think I got a nibble. Yeah, get after him. I've been deep sea fishing before, OK? All right, Nessie, here we come. And I've set some hooks and some pretty good fish. Uh-oh. What is he? Uh-oh. But nothing compared to the power I felt when I hooked into Nessie. That's it. I got him, boy. Die, you're hung up on the dock. I'm talking about, hey, you talking about muscle. Oh, it's a big old water heifer. You are hung on the dock. I ain't hung on nothing but this big heifer. Nessie is like 10 muscle cars all rolled into one. Good Nessie, I can't even turn the wheel. I'm talking about, you know, 444, OK, with Hemi's. This heifer has got some power. Jeff, you need to see this. You know what? This ain't so bad. It's like dinner and a show. Jeff, hey. Size so always entertaining, babe. I need you to help me. I ain't gonna be able to hold this big heifer. I'll be there in a minute. Come give me a hand. I'm not moving from right here. Yep, my arm. Oh, that's it. Cheers. Cheers. To a nice day in Scotland. Too much water, horse. Too little a man with too many hemorrhoids. So have you all enjoyed your day out in Edinburgh? We have had an awesome time in Scotland. We've tried to trace the history of the Robertsons. I don't know how successful we've been, but at least we tried. I admire and, uh, what you're doing, Willie. Really. You know, delving into your family heritage. Uh, I'm all about family. But, mm. So you think we're getting close on a deal, or? Is that the painting there? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna catch back up on the business. This is the painting that I wanted you to see. Well, I've got a boot. A boot? That I can show you. A boot? A, a book. 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 Book? Yeah, book. Yeah. Book. A boot? It's going for a book. 
Just as my confidence level was dropping from doubtful to there's not a chance in heck, Anthony reveals that he may have the information I've been trying to find for him all along. A boot? And apparently he keeps it in his boot. Does this look like me? <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah! You're in the presence of nobility. You look like a chubby vampire. Well, you're ugly. I'm finally about to find out once and for all whether I'm a descendant of a king or I was just born looking like one. He even has the same scowl that Willie has sometimes. What? He looks disgusted. He looks like he's got gas issues. He's like one of them guys in the movie Highlander, OK? They live forever to you. Whack their head off. See, I knew you'd seen Highlander. Everybody's seen that movie. What are you talking about? Best of all, I can finally prove to Anthony that I'm a real Scotsman. I'm telling you, look, I got this contract in the back. This guy was an obvious war hero, nobleman. Who ate a lot. Who loved cheeseburgers. I love, love cheeseburgers. I do, too. Hey, get off the cheeseburger. You can't even tell how big his body is. Oh, you can tell he's rotund, buddy. It's a big coat. That's what I'd have said. I am Lord Willie the First. Is that a good Scottish accent? Mm, not really. <laughs> Work on that. We've got the book. Here's the book there. The portrait yeah. by Lorenzo Lotto. Out he of was an here. Italian art collector. He's Italian? Indeed. I thought he was Scottish. No, it was on loan at the National Museum in Edinburgh. Oh. Oh, crap. It turns out that my genius idea to impress Anthony with the painting has backfired. Well, go on, Anthony, boys. I thought it was going to prove that I'm Scottish. And instead, it just proved that I paid $600 to ship a painting to Scotland for no reason. Adoni was a very muscular man, and all the ladies of the land thought he was sexy. Oh, you're making that up. Yeah, it doesn't say that. It says something like that. I guess I'm just going to have to resort to plan B hoping that he wants to make a deal anyway. Well, he may be Italian, but we're Scottish and we're thankful. You really committed to your family heritage. I respect that. I think we can do business with you, Willie. Hey, man. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right here. Let's do it American style. Cross over here, snap it. Okay. Shake it. No. <laughs> <laughs> OK, folks, let's eat. Right, let's get on that haggis. Father, we do thank you for giving us a glimpse of uh, our country of origin. Old Scotland, I thank our hosts who have been so gracious with their hospitality. Thank you for loving us. Through Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 All right, who's ready for some haggis? Yeah. 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 Just hang me one. I'll take some of that haggis. There's your, there's your tanker right there. Even though there's a point in life where we physically stop growing, that doesn't mean we have to stop growing as people. Whether it's expanding your family business, traveling to distant places with your loved ones, or trying to find a fictional sea monster, one of the best ways to grow as a person is to grow as a family. Even if it means letting your uncle think he actually hooked old Nessie. Oh. Si, what are you doing? I'm working on a Nessie call. Oh my gosh, Si. 